Testify for the record that the same Jehovah God of the Old Testament is the same Jesus Christ of the New Testament. We do have one creator, Malachi 2 and 10. Have we not all one Father? Have not one God created us? And to all the preachers of the gospel, I greet you in the blessed name of Jesus. I'm so happy to be here uh, today. I'm happy to be the word of God. I'm happy to know that God has put something down inside of me that I will not bow, will not compromise, and will not back up. 
or back down to the revolution that is taking place in America today. That revolution is to destroy the church of God through the works of the Antichrist led by modern people in which uh, President Obama Amen. is one of the vessels the Antichrist is using yes. along with his sodomite lesbian army to overthrow the kingdom of heaven. And I am here to serve notice loose here in Jesus' name. You will never accomplish your goal. The church of God will survive and will stand and will not take down. I thank God that I have received a word from heaven this morning. And I want everyone to understand that the church uh, operates by the divine word that is sent by God from heaven. I want to take my opening text in uh, 2 Kings chapter uh, 19. I want to connect it with, uh, I believe I want to go to Numbers 13th chapter. Matter of fact, let's start at Numbers 13th chapter first. And uh, I want you to pick right up in verse uh, 30. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. We are well able yes. to overcome. Yes, now here, uh, Moses sent out spies to take possession of the land that God had given the Hebrew people by covenant. But because the people had a fearful heart and could not accept what God had given them, then they had a conflict on their hands. I'm here to let you know today that if God promised you something, you have to step out and take it. And if He gives it to you, it belongs to you. Now, this is not like uh, uh, some type of uh, gift. It, it, it is a gift in a context. But if I tell you to come to church tomorrow, I want to give you a thousand dollars. You'll be here before the sun gets up. <laughs> but you have to make a concerted effort to take what God has given you. And any time God offers you something, there is always an adversary to want to take back what God has given you. Understand that we're in a conflict today. Amen. Understand that the word of God is being challenged as never before. But also understand the Bible says the gates of hell shall not prevail against his church. God will always have a people that's going to stand up. Not a lot of people, hallelujah, but a strong people. You see, you don't have to be a whole lot to be strong. Hallelujah. All you got to know is who's with you. Hallelujah. And he is more than the world against you, he that is with you. So I thank God that I'm in the right place at the right time. Uh, we had the uh, message yesterday by way of the uh, conference call, if you will, over the uh, telephone connection with the internet. And uh, it seems that the preachers who were arrayed against me did not have the same fire that they used to have. Hallelujah. When you got a word from heaven, sometimes you can quiet the devil's children. You make them be quiet. You make them be a substance. You make them be uh, a docile, if I would say. Amen. They're not as vicious as they used to be. You know, sometimes you can take a bad dog, and if you holler at him long enough, he can become docile. But you got to keep hollering at him. You got to keep letting him know that you're not going to back down. You're not going to take down. Hallelujah. We got God on our side. And we got the word. Hallelujah. From heaven. Amen. And the word of heaven is to defend his faith. And if we defend the faith, we got to defend the people who teach the faith and stand by the faith principle. Praise God. So I'm very thankful today that I rose up this morning to let you know God told me to tell you, don't you dare back down. Don't you dare cower back. Hallelujah. Caleb was sent by the twelve. Y'all be seated. The twelve were sent by Moses yes. to spy out the land that God had already given the children of Israel. Yes. But as you know that there were twelve that went out, but eleven came back or 